Hello, <clears throat> I'm your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and it's very cold today. In fact, it's going down to minus one to tonight. So remember everything that you learned about negative numbers, and I just thought it was a very appropriate time to put up my winter background into Microsoft Teams. Um, we're going to take a look at how you register in my math lab. So I've just started recording. And. I'm going to move this here and I'm going to move this over here. So that maybe just maybe. We can get the transcription over here. All right, now I have just jumped into student view. Hopefully this is going to work. So I am going to go to, uh, here I am on the home screen of one of my classes, but this is true for all my classes. First day, I click on that. And I go to launch courseware. Now notice that if you did not want to be in this program, even though my math lab is much less expensive, if you use this program first day, you can always opt out of it and pay more. But maybe you've already got a code you've gotten. Maybe you've already paid for a code and so you're kind of stuck. And I understand what that feels like. So you can always opt out until January 29. It says that right there. Now I'm going to launch courseware right here. And I'm going to open my lab in mastering. That's my math lab. And as with whenever you register for a program, you have to hit I accept. You could, of course, go ahead and read everything, but who does that? Feel free. I accept. Now, I can create an account, or, uh, well, I can create a new account, or I can use an old account. OK, I'm going to create a new account. So my email. Is what is my email? I'm going to use my civilian email. The one I hardly ever use. Which is 22286. Named after my dog. Email. To to 286 at outlook.com. And my username, sign in with your Pearson account. My username is going to be Barbrad, short for Barbara Radebaker. What's wrong with that? All right, it's only going to let me use one or the other. Barbrad42, and then come up with a password. You may already have an account using that. I don't believe it. All right, all right. I'm going to have to make something up. Um, oh, I hate to do that, but jelly pants. J-E-L-L-Y-P-A-N-T-S. At. Hubbub. And we're going to make this my, my username. Um, how about jelly pants? J-E-L-L-Y. 
P A N T S. And my password will be Jelly Pants. J E L L Y. That's not smart. Don't do that. I'm not going to do it. It's a bad influence on you. Okay, how about. How about. Bubba Meister. B U B B A M E I S T E R. And I'll re enter it. Bubba Meister. B U B B A M E I S T E R. I have a cat named Bubba. I call him the Bubba Meister. First name. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First name Jelly. Last name Pants. What is my father's name, my mother's name? What town was I born in? What is my account security hint? Well, I don't know. Let's make something up that's not true. My father's middle name is Bob. B-O-B. I agree to the terms. One or more of these applies to me. I'm enrolled in middle or high school. I am under the age of 18. I reside outside the United States. No, none of those is true. I do not wish to receive information. Yes, thank you. It will just bounce. Create an account. Create it. Well, what is it doing? Use at least one number for the password. Okay. I guess I'll use Bubba Meister one. B U B B A M E I S T E R one. B U B B A M E I S T E R one. Okay, now just so I know so I can log in. My username is Jelly Pants. And my password is Bubba Meister One. Um, I would only need that if I go straight into my math lab. Create account. Please be patient. I don't want to be patient. There we go. You are done. Look at that. Print this page as your receipt. OK, it tells me my username, my email address, neither of which is true. And I do try to contact you, OK? I do try to contact you. And so you want to put a real um, email address in there, OK? That's needed so that I can contact you through my math lab. If you email me, if you, if you uh, send me a question through Ask My Instructor, I'm going to answer that with uh, uh, right from my math lab. And if you put in the wrong email address, then you'll never get my email. So, don't do it. I don't expect to email myself. So this is my account ID, oh gee. Well, all right, I guess I'll print this page. So I'll print. It's going to be saved as a PDF. And I will put it in spring 2022. Right there so I can look and see. That's a good way to keep your username and password. Is my password in here? No, it's not. No, it's not. So what you can do is you can print this page off and then write your password and then put it on your wall. You're going to need it if you decide to uh, take a temp two at the exams that that you can take to a temp sub. OK, now now what do I do? I've done it. Oh, it says go to my courses. Boom. Here I am, I'm at Course Home. 
So you have you have this set up with dates and and what is this? Oh, that's what was due today, January 19th, 2022. Review factoring, yes. Uh -huh. Well, let's go to assignments. Oh, and by the way, chapter contents. I can actually go into the book if I want to. How about section 4.4? If you want a video presentation, you can go there. If you want the text, the, the textbook, click on e-text. I'm going to do that right now. Just to show you. Someday. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. There's 4.4. And you can read the book because everybody knows that the uh, and change page by by hitting the arrows go backwards go forwards. This is all about factoring because our first homework is a factoring review. Isn't that fun? Yes. OK, well, I'm going to click out of this. And I am going to do what I really need to do, which is go to the main menu and go to assignments. How to work with my math lab. This is just an announcement. Notice it's not blue. You can't click into it. Is now past due. Ah, well, all right. Review factoring. Now, I had a student write to me and say that when he went in to try to correct the problem, it didn't work. So let's do this. Uh, we're looking for the greatest common factor. We're going to factor by the GCF, the greatest common factor. OK, well, a 2 goes into each term. We have 8S squared plus 4S. 4 goes into each term. 4 goes into 8. 4 goes into 4. And we have an S here, and we have two S's here. That is S times S. So my GCF is going to be 4S, and I'm going to type 4, but I've got to make a mistake. I want to make a mistake so that I can go back in and try to fix it. Uh, 2S plus Two. No, two S parentheses. S plus two. S plus two. Now this is a mistake. I'm making it on purpose. And then I check answer and it's going to tell me I'm wrong. But I'm going to keep hitting check answer. You can do that. Three times altogether and it tells me my mistake. You can go to Skill Builder and uh, get some extra practice on that kind of question. Students really love Skill Builder. You can try it. And then I'm going to go to another problem and hopefully get that one right. Three goes into three, three goes into three, three goes into 15. So this time I'm going to type the correct answer. Three parentheses. R, and here's the tool that gives me an exponent. See, it puts a, a box up there. Two R squared. Now, to come down, you have to hit the space bar. No, you don't. You have to hit the down arrow key on your keyboard. So R squared minus R minus five and close the parentheses. Now I check my answer. Well done, okay, I got that one right. Now at this point, it's gonna yell at me, okay? Cause I'm about to save and it's gonna tell me, oh no, don't do that. But I am. Okay, and now I'm going to click on some other links. I love multimedia library. You, have, you get so much stuff for every individual section <clears throat> that you go through in the homework. 
Okay, there's great book. That's your great book. And that's what it looks like. Look at that. I only got one out of 10 correct. That's a 10%. You want a 100%. So I'm going to go back. I'm pretending I'm a student because I'm investigating the problem here. That's what I do. Assignments. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to fix this. Ah, okay, I see what the person had a problem with. You cannot redo this problem, but you can come down here and click on similar question. Then you can get the problem right. 5T parentheses 2T plus 1. Rin. Now you can double check yourself by distributing 5T times 2T is 10T squared and 5t times plus 1 is plus 5t. So I'm pretty sure it's right. I'm going to check the answer. Now it's told me I'm correct. There's one I got correct. And I could go on and I could continue, but I'm not going to do that. Warning, the best score is 100% and this attempt was zero. Huh. Save best score. All right, there, I have two correct now. My math lab has completely forgotten that I had missed number one. So that's how you do it. And you can do this up until the cutoff date, which this says is January 31st. And that's at 11.55 p.m., 11.59 p.m. OK, so that's how you register in my math lab when you're part of the first day pro uh, program. And uh, this is what happens if you miss a problem, a homework problem, you can go back in. And you can click similar problem. Now I'm going to send this video to all of you and I'm going to send it to the person who asked me the question. And that will clear it up. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Don't freeze tonight. I can see this being summer, 90 degrees, 100 degrees, and you're thinking to yourself, boy, I'd like to freeze a little bit. Yep. Okay, bye bye.